join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytales for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, today we're going to be watching Avatar The Last Airbender episode um, 8. It is part 2 of the winter solstice. I just finished watching episode 7, had some curry, and now I'm back to watch more because I am really, really interested in seeing what Avatar Roku is going to have to say if indeed we do see him in this episode, which we probably will. And with that being said, let's just do it. Look, I'm sorry, but Katara and Sokka aren't coming to the Fire Nation with us. If they got hmm? hurt, I'd never forgive myself. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're going. <laughs> the world can't afford to lose you to the Fire Nation. Neither can I. Oh. We're not letting you go into the Fire Nation, Ang. At least not without your friends. We got your back. Yep. Ugh. Having trouble oh. sleeping. Oh. Oh. Seen the Avatar lately. Zuko, not cool. Not cool at all. Damn, Sailing that ship is fast. Waters. Of all the foolish things you've done in your 16 years, Prince Zuko, have you completely forgotten that the Fire Lord banished you? I'm very curious. How did he get the scar and why is he va uh, banished? A blockade. Oh, wow. That's a lot of ships. Let's run this blockade. Appa, yip yip. Do not follow the avatar. I'm sorry, uncle. Run the blockade. This is intense, so already right off the bat. Usually we kind of ease into the episode, but this is just like we're already there. Shoot the bison down, captain. But there's a fire no. ship out there, sir. One of our own. What if it's hit? So be it. It belongs to a traitor. Ignite! Launch! Holy shit. Holy shit. They are in danger of being hit too. Oh my gosh, it's so many fireballs. Ooh. We need to stop and make repairs. Do not stop this ship. He is just so hyper focused on capturing Aang. Don't think he's making good decisions. Oh shit. Oh shit, Sokka. Oh my god. Better go get my boy. Okay, he <laughs> definitely would have died from the impact, but what? <laughs> Where does the fish come from? Fire! Pull up! Pull up! Oh! The hell is happening? God damn! Uh, Aang is pulling out some really impressive moves lately. We got into the Fire Nation. Great. I can kind of understand why the Avatar is so scary. It's like if he can do that with air, imagine what he could do with all the elements. That's insane. I'm excited. There it is. The island where Roku's dragon took me. Yes, look at the lava. I love lava. Looks so cool. We are the fire sages. Hmm. They don't seem very friendly. Oh, shit. That was cool. I love how they use kicks a lot in this. Air and like fire coming out from their heels and stuff. I don't want to fight you. I am a friend. I know why you're here, Avatar. You do? Yes. We trust him. You wish to speak to Avatar Roku. Fine. Time is running out. Quickly. Okay, better trust him for now. The sages must open the doors together with five simultaneous fire blasts. I think I can help you out. Ta-da! Fake fire bending. <laughs> They're still locked. Oh, well, you tried. You're right. Sokka's plan didn't work, but it looks like it did. Did the definition of genius I don't change get it. in the last hundred years? 
Oh, I get it. But look at the scorch marks. And down there. See? He's inside. Open the doors immediately. Good thing Sokka and Katara came. They did help. It's the Avatar's Lima. We've been tricked. Now, nice. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Zuko, you suck. <laughs> nice moves. Oh, shit, that was close. 100 years ago, Fire Lord Sozin used that comet to begin the war. So the comet made them stronger? Yes, stronger than you could even imagine. Sozin's Comet will return by the end of this summer, and Fire Lord Ozai will use its power to finish the war once and for all. Aang, you must defeat the Fire Lord. Mastering the elements takes years of discipline and practice, but if the world is to survive, you must do it by summer's end. Okay, no pressure. I'm ready. Ooh. He's ready. Oh, shit. Bye, Zuko. Till next time. Wow. Whoa. Holy shit. That was awesome. That is such a cool shot. That's so cool. Oh, sweet. Just a couple questions that came to my mind during that, but like there was so much dialogue that was hard for me to really say much. But I wonder why um, Zuko's uncle is with him as opposed to like at his brother's side. Just kind of wondering why he's like is there with Zuko. Um, the war started a hundred years ago, which I think is also when Aang was frozen and Sozin uh, did that comet. So I think Aang was frozen as like a protection or something. I feel like it wasn't malicious. It was like, we'll just like tuck you away for now. Or maybe he did it to himself unknowingly. I'm not really sure, but it's interesting so Ozai didn't start the war, obviously. I didn't really think about it at first, but obviously, right, because the war has been going on for a hundred years. So Ozai would be dead if he was there at the beginning, right? He'd be very, very, very dead. <laughs> very old, I guess. So Ozai was born into this war and I guess just kind of followed in his predecessor's footsteps. And also Zuko was born into a world where everyone else is the enemy, every other nation. So that's kind of an interesting thing to think about. A hundred years is a long time, a long time for a war. You know, you don't really think about it, but yeah, most people were born. This is all they know. Their whole life has been war. Think about that. That's crazy. Their whole life, their parents' whole life, most people's whole life has been this war. That's crazy to think about. We have to learn all the elements. We have to master. Aang has to master all the elements in like record time. So I feel like things are really starting to pick up very, very quickly. Very quickly. And I'm excited to see what's next. I think we're still heading to the North Pole. That's like the only idea that we have so we have to learn um water bending and then we're gonna have to learn earth bending and and fire bending interesting to think of who's gonna teach us those who's gonna teach us fire bending hmm well anyways 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye bye.